Before starting work on a Weatherby Epsiren dry dash system, a U-value should be calculated for the existing property structure and a suitable insulation material and thickness selected to satisfy any design criteria and current building regulations. Pull-out tests are also required. These measure the pull-out strength of a fixing, assessing its suitability for the substrate and ensures the correct loading design. Only then is it possible to determine the appropriate fixing type, length and number per square metre required. A Weatherby specification should always be sourced for further information on materials and application methods to be used. Copies of Weatherby detail drawings for the dry dash system should also be obtained to ensure all details are correctly installed. Before applying external wall insulation directly to a masonry or rendered surface, brush down the substrate to remove any friable material, algae or lichen and, where required, apply Weatherby's biocidal wash in preparation for the new works. Any full depth surface profile should be firmly attached and a suitable base rail installed at approximately 150 mm above ground level. Take care not to bridge the damp proof course. The base rail profile type is determined by the insulation thickness and should be installed at a maximum of 300 mm centres and 50 mm from each end, using approved Weatherby fixings. Where verge trims are required, these must be installed in accordance with the Weatherby specification including a sealing tape and silicone sealant to ensure the system is protected. The verge trim must be cut and bent into place at the gable apex to prevent an exposed joint at this point. On low-rise applications, bedding adhesive is only required to level insulation boards on uneven substrates. However, it should always be used for fully bedding the boards on all high-rise applications. Bedding adhesive is applied in a continuous line around the perimeter of the board, with six additional dabs of adhesive distributed uniformly over the remaining surface. Alternatively, for fully bedded applications, the adhesive is applied over the entire face of the insulation board using a notched trowel. Start by placing the first insulation board on the base rail at a corner of the building, flush to the perpendicular wall. This should be secured with the approved Weatherby mechanical fixings determined by the pull-out test at a rate of 5 per board in accordance with the Weatherby fixing pattern included in the project specification. Continue to place additional boards ensuring a staggered laying pattern is adhered to with all boards interleaved at external corners. Additional fixings are required at 300mm centres at the external corners and around openings. All boards must be tightly butted together to eliminate thermal breaks, with door and window openings easily formed by shaping the insulation boards around the corners. Timber patrices may be required to allow the fixing of accessories such as GRP canopies, satellite dishes and external lights. A suitable sized piece of insulation should be cut out and replaced with a treated timber patris, which should be fixed back to the substrate. Install render surface beads where required using fir tree fixings. When replicating structural movement joints, a minimum 6mm gap should be left between the insulation boards. The movement joint should then be installed directly in line to allow for any structural movement. Once the insulation boards have been fully installed, Weatherby scrim adhesive should be thoroughly mixed to a pliable consistency for 3 to 5 minutes. This should then be left to settle for approximately 5 minutes and remixed to break the set before use. Scrim adhesive should be applied over the insulation boards to a depth of 4 to 6 mm. Once all of the insulation is covered, a notched trowel should be run at a 45 degree angle through the base coat in preparation for the alkali resistant reinforcing mesh. The alkali resistant mesh should be bedded into the top third of scrim adhesive with the mesh kept taut and fixed from the top down. Adjacent layers of mesh should have a minimum overlap of 75 mm, with no overlaps to be placed within 150 mm of any reveal or corner. Ensure the mesh runs into all render beads and reveals to protect the full system. Trowel the adhesive to ensure the mesh is fully covered by the base coat. Ensure mesh is wrapped around the external corners. 
Any offcut should be resized to 200 by 200 mm patches and used as additional stress patches for corner reinforcements. These should be bedded in at 45 degrees to all window and door openings to prevent hairline cracking. Lightly scratch the base coat surface with a scratch comb to provide a suitable key for the dashing mortar. Any profiles and base rail should be cleaned to remove any traces of scrim adhesive. Install powder coated galvanized or stainless steel corner beads using the appropriate fixings. Now you're ready for the top coat. Start by mixing the Weatherby coloured dashing mortar to a suitable consistency. Apply onto a dry base coat to a depth of 8 to 10 millimetres. The dashing mortar is then applied in horizontal strips from the top of the building down. It's important to ensure that the dashing aggregate remains clean and uncontaminated before it's applied to the wall. By positioning dash trays to the underside of the substrate, any loose stones caught can be reused. While the render is still soft, the dashing aggregate is thrown in an upward motion or sprayed onto the surface. The surface must be checked regularly to ensure an even coverage of spar dash has been achieved as the dash is applied. Mortars and aggregates are supplied in a variety of complementary colours and sizes to suit any design and offer a robust and textured finish to the building. Be sure to clean off any material that may have accidentally splashed onto adjacent surfaces. Weatherby products can be very difficult to remove once set and contain pigments which may stain if left to dry. Apply Weatherby Evo Stick 25 year silicone sealant around openings, at system abutments and to all areas required to ensure no water ingress occurs. Your Weatherby dry dash system is complete. Weatherby. Creating a greener future.